What is up everyone? It's Bucky and welcome to your 7th Java game program tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to load some awesome graphics on our screen. And my graphics actually aren't that awesome because I made them in about 5 seconds. But, well, you'll see. Actually, let me show you my graphics right now. Uh, let's go to my computer. I put them in the C drive in a folder called test. And here is my background right here. As I told you, not that exciting. And here's the image I'm going to be putting on my background. It's a ping, uh, the face dot ping, and there's my face. So like I said, not that great, but hey, their image. And by the way, my background is 800 by 600 JPEG, and my face is like 100 by 100 ping. So if you want to make sweet graphics like that, then go into Photoshop and make some. But uh, that's what we're going to be learning this tutorial. But let's go ahead and. As you see, our main class before, which contained the main method before, is named Bucky. Let's go ahead and copy all this, and I made a new class called Images. Now you don't need to do this, but in case I really mess anything up, then I still have that Bucky class to work with. But I'm going to go ahead and copy everything in Images, of course. We're going to change the class name to Images. And let's set this to Images I equals new Images, just like that. And just put i dot run, and now we transferred everything over to our images class. Now we need to import one thing to work with images or graphics, and that's this: import javax dot swing dot image icon, just like that. Actually, just like that. That's a little bit better. And now what we can do is we can load images, like I just showed you, we can load those images and use them in Java. So let's go ahead and get right down to it. Um, the first thing we need to do is some housekeeping things. So right under your main method right here, again, this is where your run method starts. Run method right there. And this is where your main method ends. See this? Let's go ahead and make some variables. Let's go ahead and make private screen because remember this is our screen kind of manager right here and we'll make a variable called s now if we go ahead and take this out right here because we don't need to put screen s twice and now so that should be on line 21 or somewhere around there and that's just um we can't before that screen s object was in this run method and we want to take it out of the run method and declare it up here and that's just because if we want to use it in every any other methods then if we put it outside the methods then it, every other method has access to it so go ahead and put your screen object right there and let's go ahead and make two more private images uh, variables so private image will put bg for background and that's going to be that gradient i showed you the first time and let's go ahead and put private image pick and that pick is going to be that little face I made that's ping that little hundred by hundred and what we're going to be doing is testing if these images are loaded or not if the images are loaded then we want to paint them but if they're not then we don't want to worry about it so we're going to make a boolean boolean in loaded and what we're going to do is set this to false to begin with because it's not loaded and once they're loaded, we're going to be changing this to true right here. So let's go ahead and um, in your run method right here, the method that you had before, the first thing we probably want to do is set that loaded. Loaded equals false. So now boolean loaded, it initially starts out as false because remember, nothing's loaded yet. And again, we already have that right there. And now in our try block in our run method, Again, this is all from our code before. When at right after you set the full screen, we want to call a method called load picks. And if you're saying, all right, where the heck did this method come from and what does it do? Well, actually, we made this method call because we're going to be creating this method right now. And what this method is going to do is load all the pictures. And look, it's saying, create method load picks. All right, you talked me into it. I will. So in here, create a little load pictures make sure you spell it wrong and there we go now we can actually that's kind of annoying me change to pastures or change to posters huh I'll change it to pastures there we go right there <laughs> and let's go ahead and create this method before I uh, let me make sure I got everything first alright now let's go ahead and put public void 
load picks and this method is going to load our pitchers and it's not going to take any parameters and here's how you load pitchers from your computer to use in Java take that variable name remember we made two image variables one called BG and one called pick set BG equal to new image icon with image icon in caps and as your first parameter for this type the location of your image and remember this is a string in mind C colon backslash backslash and they have to be two backslashes because remember the backslash like back n back t is an escape character so whenever you put two it actually views it as one so you know um, you should know that from my last tutorials test and my image name was back dot jpeg right there so here's the location of our first image and in essence what I'm saying anytime you need a backslash put two so it escapes it and only sees it as one and now once you get your image location all you need to put is dot get image and it gets the image it's built in method we don't need to worry about that and if you got no errors then you're good to go so now we have our background image loaded into the variable BG so anytime we do anything with BG it's this image since I mean come on do you really want to type that every single time you use the background image I don't so next let's go ahead and what I name my other variable pick right there so we'll set pick and we'll set this equal to new image icon test and this is actually face dot ping that's what I name mine yours might be a little different and yours might be in another folder so I recommend you putting it in the same location as I do but uh, if you don't want it don't do it and now look at this we have our background loaded and we have our pick loaded so what can we do now well we can change that loaded boolean to true right there <coughs> uh, sorry swine flu and now Java knows that our picks are loaded so now we're gonna go ahead and repaint the screen and what repaint does this is again another built-in method it means alright you already called your paint method whenever you made your JFrame initially automatically so now what we want to do is call this again anytime it says repaint it means call this paint method again so now what we got to do is paint the images on the screen so after this if block actually get rid of this entire string we don't need that anymore go ahead and put if loaded so this is only going to happen if the picks are loaded aka if we call this method what do we want to do well in order to draw the images on the screen you need your drawing variable or object right there and there's built-in method called draw image and you don't need all those parameters half of those are optional and what do you want to draw is an image you want to draw the background the location which is zero zero and this fourth parameter um, we don't need to know about that right now it just confuse you because it confuses me G draw image and oh yeah get all those parameters again that's the last parameter is actually your image observer in case you're wondering but again you don't need to know about that right now so for draw image what do we want to draw after we draw background that pick which is actually my face put it somewhere in the middle which is like 170 180 or something that should appear somewhere in the middle and for your image observer put null and that's all so let's go ahead and run this and I know you guys are gonna see black but I want to make sure that mine ran successfully and it didn't so hold on one second and I'll and I am back and look at this guys I did something really embarrassing I named my method load picks and when I built my method I named it load pick so let's go ahead and name it correctly and then we should be good to go so hopefully I run this again hopefully I don't have any more typos so now I know you guys can't see it but I have a gradient background in my little face appearing on the screen right now and this is what you guys are gonna see right here um, I made this before I made this tutorial just to make sure it worked and <coughs> whenever you load your images here's what you're gonna see your background and then your little face on it like that so that is how in essence you load images in Java and again what we did is created four variables um pretty much called a method called load picks and how you load picks is using image icon get image that's how you load them on your computer to local variables and then when you want to draw them on your screen you have to use the method draw image so that's how you do that and now that we work with graphics we can actually start doing things with the graphics like moving them around manually making them collide into each other making them hop go down tubes stuff like that and bam you got yourself a game but for now that's all you get for this tutorial don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time and i'll see you later